Hey, it's Ryan Stuman here, and uh, it's Thursday, the 18th of April, and I'm driving to work, and, man, you know, I, just randomly thinking here, and I don't really put stuff like this out there on YouTube or whatever, but don't you think that there's a lot of shit that went down this week that just doesn't make a lot of fucking sense? Okay, we had a bomb in Boston. First of all, like, Boston hasn't done anything since the fucking Tea Party, so why bomb them? It's not like they're this huge mecca like New York or whatever, but I'm, I'm sorry for the victims there, but there was a bomb in Boston. Then they don't know who the bomber is. The fucking FBI people, drills and all this shit everywhere, they have no fucking clue who did it, right? But I can fucking run this red light that I just ran, and they'll send me a goddamn piece of paper in the mail for 200 bucks, but they can't figure out with all these videos and pictures and social media and everything else who the fuck bombed somebody. But then they arrested the dude that bombed somebody, and then all of a sudden, they didn't have any arrests, and they let him go out of jail. And he used to be Saudi, and now he's a white dude. Second thing that happened on Monday is Obama signed a bill that allowed uh, the top leaders in Congress to insider trade. Even mayors of towns now that know that corporations are buying into them uh, or coming or whatever can buy tracts of lands without making it public knowledge. And basically, the, Obama signed a fucking bill that basically said politicians can profit off of the slaves of the Americans right? Truth. We're all fucking slaves to these assholes. They're out there making everything in the world they want legal for them and everything in the world that they, they don't want illegal for us. And then when we work our asses off to get to the top and join them, they hold things against us. Do you realize how many fucking laws we have in this country? Do you realize that me probably driving down the road filming this, even though we think we have rights and freedoms, it's probably fucking worthy of me being a terrorist or some shit. You don't even fucking know. Obama can point his finger, or any politician for that matter, and say, that's a terrorist, they're making threats. Look at the Kaufman County murders. Dudes put posts on Facebook and they arrested them for making terrorist threats. How does it make any sense to me? Right? Especially since the things they posted on Facebook weren't terroristic or threats. The other thing is the dollar, or not the dollar, gold collapsed on Monday, about the same time the bomb went off. The Fed government, uh, states like Texas and other states, uh, but Texas leading the way for sure, which is where I'm from, uh, has told the federal government, give us our fucking gold back. Uh, we don't trust you guys. Your money is worth shit. And we're working on our doing our own thing. And we want our fucking gold back from the Federal Reserve. So Monday, the feds had a big sell off in gold and made the gold price like dip like an, an amazing amount. I don't have the stats in front of me. Like I said, I'm driving to work. But that happened. Bomb goes off. Then we have a fucking fertilizer plant explode. And now I'm not talking about like, you know, burning on fire and shit happens like you see every other plant that's caught on fire. We had a plant in Garland catch on fire a few weeks ago, or in Frisco, sorry, catch on fire a few weeks ago. It was nothing like that, right? Just real simple burn, burn to the ground. This motherfucker exploded like a missile hit it. Now, I don't know if it was a missile or not. The motherfucker exploded like it was a missile that hit it. And so I just want you to know or not really don't fuck care if you know. I just want you to think for a second. Free think. Just have a mind of your own. Whether it's about to get really good or it's about to get really bad or whatever the case may be, a lot of fucking weird shit is happening in our country. A lot of fucking weird shit. And if we just keep sitting back, and I don't know what to fucking do. I don't have the answer. I'm not smart. But if we just keep sitting back and allowing people to the Congress and Senate and everybody just to fucking pass gun control bills, Andrew Cuomo in New York, the guy who fucked the mortgage industry up and caused the fucking the the, the banking deal, whether they blame it on Wall Street or not, it's Andrew Cuomo's fault. Right? Because shit, when HVCC passed, that's when shit started to fucking tank. Well, this same asshole's now uh, violated HIPAA. And he's going to anybody who's ever told their therapist, hey, by the way, don't go to a fucking psychiatrist. And I don't give a fuck if you are a psychiatrist, you're a crook. You're an evil bastard. You prescribe medicine to motherfuckers that just don't feel right? Fuck you. You fucking evil bastards. But now Cuomo's going and subpoenaing records from every psychiatrist in New York. And if you've ever said you felt depressed or felt like hurting yourself, they're coming to knock on your door and taking your guns. And this isn't me fucking going, oh, they're coming to take your guns. It's a fucking fact. Look it up. All this shit happened this fucking week. And it's only Thursday. All I'm saying is pay fucking attention because shit ain't as easy and it ain't as cool as you think. And while we sit around waiting to be fucking boiled like a frog in warm water, We'll wake up one day 
and shit will be completely different. We're going to see the Department of Homeland Security and the TSA quite possibly fighting our state uh, militia, uh, what do you call them, uh, Minutemen, fighting our state troopers. We may even see the Department of Homeland Security go to war against our own military. There's a lot of fucking weird shit happening. And this week, it's been a really escalating week. And like I said, I don't usually make videos about this, but you motherfuckers need to be paying attention. Now, I don't know. I don't have a fucking answer. I wish I did, right? And I don't want to fucking pretend to. But I also know that I don't believe a goddamn thing that the media said. And more importantly, I don't know if you know this or not, but they repealed the Fairness Doctrine True which, this week, which uh, allows... The media to lie to us, basically, is what it says. If you read it, read, Google it, Fairness Doctrine. Allows the media to lie to us for government propaganda purposes, right? They can lie to us to protect us, just like they can require insurance on us to protect us. Turns out insurance fucked everybody, didn't it? All these layoffs and everything. Matter of fact, I've seen that the Democratic-controlled Senate turned down or blocked the uh, gun vote yesterday. And everybody pointed the fingers at Republicans. I hate both the motherfuckers. Or not hate, but I just don't agree with both the motherfuckers. But listen to this. Everybody blamed Republicans, but yet senators uh, that run the Senate, sorry, are, uh, it's Democratic-led. We're just low-information motherfuckers out there. And if you don't pay attention, you're going to get left behind. If you don't pay attention, you're going to get left behind. And do not think a fucking plethora of amazing shit happening in the fucking news this week is just some, wow, what a mysterious week for news. Don't be a fucking idiot. Pay attention.